Well, gang, it's about 38 degrees out. November, what's today? 14th. Um, started to fire, and then I thought, you know what? We had a couple of days of really harsh wind. So, I decided after starting the fire, of course it's not ramped up yet, to come out and check the flu. The wind blew it around. So now I've got to hurry up and get my ladder and get up there and uh, get that straightened out so I can warm the shop up for a video request. So I'll tell you all about that in a minute. Zip a later mount. Okay, as per Missouri old timer, uh, I believe this is the type of uh, clutch that he has and that he's having issues with and wants to know how to remove the snap ring that's in there. I showed you on the little clip, that's a little snap ring. How do you get that sucker out without damaging it? Um, I've actually made myself a special tool and all it is is just an old um, screwdriver that I've taken and I don't know if we can get in on this. we can get things to focus here you can see that I've got kind of a cup ground into the end of that okay uh, that cups gonna help you in retrieving the ring from the groove as well as getting the ring back on so let me show you how I do this and you can use just a regular screwdriver if you want to uh, you don't have to dedicate sorry my camera is just is backwards right now hang on there we go that's much better sorry my viewfinder was backwards so anyway alright now um, if you take a look here you can see my snap ring is in alignment with this groove well, what I'm going to do is push down on this ring to release a little bit of spring tension and I'm going to turn by and hold that snap ring in place. I'm going to turn just this ring. In doing so, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see here. Yeah, you can see. Now I've moved that snap ring to where I can get to it with that flat spot there all right so now what I do I push down again on this piece and it'll wobble in there when I say wobble it'll it'll you can wobble it okay it's not a real tight fit so wobble it a little bit push down on that groove side when you push down on that groove side, that gives you room to get your little screwdriver or your tool up underneath. And then carefully just pry up just a little bit, just enough, so that you can start turning this ring. Now as you can see, I'm, let me turn it a little more, I'm past this groove, I've got my tool under the ring, and now I'm just going to walk this tool around. As I do so, I'm just going to do a little bit of twisting and I don't know if you can see with the T-handle. Let me zoom back out a little bit here. See, I've got the T-handle so that I can twist a little bit as I'm walking it around. So, twist, walk, twist, walk, twist, walk. It's a good idea because these things are spring steel. Put your finger on top as you're doing it. I'm not going to do it right now. I run the risk of having to chase that thing if it flies off of there. But just twist, walk, keep doing that. And as you can see, it's starting to come up over the chamfer here. Zoom in again. see it's starting to come up over the chamfer again. So I'll keep it zoomed in, we'll finish this off. Keep my finger along the side here. But as I come up, 
Now you can look and you can see got quite a bit of a groove. It essentially is out now, okay? Just the tiniest little bit of work. Pull it up across the top. Trying not to stab myself at the same time. And I know my fingers in the way. Just pull it up across the top. You see there? It's off. Uh, it's off. Okay? Let me zoom back out. Alright. It's off. So, you pull the ring off. Pull your spring off. Here is your spring washer that I spoke about over here with this other one and if all you need is the gear you can purchase just the gears now this is a plastic lined steel gear what's important to know when you are ordering these is that you get the right number of teeth let me show you here look how many teeth are on this one versus how few teeth are on this one Make sure that you count your teeth and order one with the right number of teeth. They may even be the same size, but have a different number of teeth. The number of teeth, like right here, for example, here's two of the same size gears, but there are a different number of teeth on this gear than there are on this gear. So count your gears. It's important to know how many you need. How many gears you need to have. Okay, And then to assemble. Obviously it's in reverse. Put your spring back down. Get your washer back down on there. Put your cap back on there. Now, here's a, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, I found that the easiest way is not to try to take that ring and fight that ring back on. A lot of times you'll distort the ring. So what I do, give me just a second. Okay, now to get the snap ring on. Okay, Take and push down again. Use this groove to your advantage. Let me turn it around so you can see it. See if I can do this backwards. Use that groove to your advantage. Take your snap ring, set your snap ring into the groove, just on one side, one little edge, and then turn that groove so that that holds that snap ring in place. What that does, that seats that snap ring just on one little side, and then the reason for my little groove and the screwdriver you take and as you can see just two little taps I've got it around another tap here and that ring is right back in place you're golden and you're ready to rock and roll I hope my hand wasn't in the way with that um, if you have any more issues or want to know anything about any of the other types of uh, starters, give me a shout. Some of them are pretty straightforward, like this one here. You have a nut on the end, take the nut off, the starter clutch comes off. These style here just have a clip that holds everything on. You have a drift pin right here. You knock that drift pin out, all that spring does is holds that or all that clip does on top is holds that spring in place. You knock that drift pin out. After you knock that drift pin out, your assembly comes off. Just like that, as you can see. That clip is still in place. That clip has nothing to do with taking that clutch off. It's just the drift pin. So get a good drift punch set or a sacrificial drill bit that's the right size knock that pin out and you're golden. Um, 
Missouri old timer. Hope this helps out. If my hands were in the way or if it doesn't look good uh, and you need a uh, little more information, just let me know and I will certainly try to accommodate. Zip a later map.